the legislature in all 50 states is authorized to collect taxes. Now, if property taxes are unpaid in Alabama, the treasurer will begin the process by selling a tax lien certificate to try to bring the money in. So our episode today is how to find tax lien properties in Alabama. They're on the website and they'll be announced in the newspaper, tax lien property, and they're also going to sell tax defaulted properties the same way. So tax lien auctions are trying to collect back taxes, in other words, past due taxes that are delinquent. Now, I know it sounds harsh, but when someone asks the question, what happens if I don't pay my property tax in Alabama, I can tell you that harsh answer is, well, it's the same in every other county and every other state. The county could eventually take the property. That means you could lose the property because you didn't pay the property tax. Okay, now the legislature in all 50 states is authorized to collect taxes. Now, the legislature makes the law for the state. Now, once they have created the law, they put it in statute books, and then they send those notices down to the local county. By that, I mean the local laws are put in place by the Board of Supervisors and the county commissioners. They're authorized to enforce the laws. Now, if property taxes are unpaid, the local government is authorized to go ahead and sell the property or to sell a tax lien certificate. Now, in Alabama, the treasurer would begin the process by selling a tax lien certificate to try to bring the money in because the county needs money to pay their bills. All right, now these delinquent taxes, if they're uncollectible, well, then the treasurer has to do something about it. Now, what do they do? Well, of course, they'll lien the property, then they could levy the property, but they could ultimately confiscate the property. So again, they're going to sell a tax lien certificate. So our episode today is how to find tax lien properties in Alabama. They're on the website and they'll be announced in the newspaper, tax lien property, and they're also going to sell tax defaulted properties the same way. So tax lien auctions are trying to collect back taxes, in other words, past due taxes that are delinquent. Now, how do they do that? They sell those tax lien certificates to the highest bidder. Okay, so you want to be aware of that. Now, each state and each county can have their own rules. Now, if the property owner fails to respond, the treasurer is going to take some action. Now, what action are they going to do? They can pick that property up and take it to the county. Well, we both know they can't do that. They're not going to do that. But legally, they're going to confiscate the property, they're going to seize the property, and they're going to push the owner off the property. Now, they go through a whole due process of law before they do all that. So that's not going to happen suddenly. No one's going to get surprised. They give everybody lots of notices before they do that. But the legislature has passed those rules down to the treasurer. The treasurer has power, and they have power to collect defaulted taxes. If they can't, they're going to confiscate that property. But first they lean it, then they levy it, then they give lots of notices to do that. Now, each county is a taxing district. What does that mean? That means they're an individual taxing district. They can charge taxes, they can make their own tax rate, they can set up their own process. So that means, like in Alabama, there's 67 different counties. There are going to be 67 different ways of doing this. But where do you find these properties? You find them, as I said earlier. They're going to be on the county website and they'll be announced in the local newspaper. All right, so the the law allows a taxing district that that jurisdiction they can levy on it and they can take the property and resell it okay so you got the idea all right so the process requires numerous notices of default which i mentioned earlier this is no surprise to the property owner they know because this notices of default are sent to them continuously for for quite a period of time some states it'll be five or six some will be two or three sometime the sheriff delivers it my point is they're going to be notified, so no one is surprised. And the tax lien certificate system does not push people off the property. It leaves them on the property for a long period of time. These counties and, and states that sell tax liens are very benevolent. All right, now I'm not a real estate broker, okay? I'm not an attorney at law. I'm not an investment advisor. I'm not giving investment advice. I'm just telling you from a perspective of a, of a tax lien and deed buyer and an author and, and a guide to teach people how to do it. The foreclosure laws throughout the United States are all different. Each state is allowed to have their 
own rules and each county can have their own rules. So you need to review these and you need to seek an attorney or someone that's qualified to teach you these laws because I am not allowed to teach the law, but you're getting the idea. Just know these properties will get sold at auction, but they start out with a tax lien certificate. So we're talking today about how to find tax lien properties. They're very easy to find. They're going to be in a county, county website and they're going to be sold in the newspaper. Now, when these properties are sold as tax liens in the state of Alabama, it's 12%. So if you had a tax lien certificate on your property, you'd have to pay the tax lien off to that investor and you'd have to pay the additional 12%. Lots of other rules in between that. All right. Now, in Alabama, this whole situation after this takes place, if you want to resell the property, if you end up with it, well, you're going to have to go through a quiet title action. That's a legal action covered by an attorney. Now, this isn't a, this is not a class on quiet title. This is a class on how to find tax lien properties. But once you get a property at auction, if you actually get the property, you'll have to go through a quiet title process. So they call that a quiet title action. Can only be done by an attorney, and it's a judicial situation, so it has to be signed off for a, for a judge. All right, now new, newcomers should be aware that they need qualified attorneys to help them out with this. I'm not an attorney. I can't give you that information. Now, I'm about to finish up, but before I do, I want you to take a close look. You can see the white circles on this map. All right, now, if you looked at that map, now you know that you can go right below me and you can find tax leads and tax deeds. You can find out where they are, how many of there are. If you find a county that has a small population, no problem. You'll find hundreds of tax defaulted properties. If you find a county with a big population, large population, you can find thousands of tax defaulted properties. I'm Ted Thomas. I'll see you on the next video.